The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. You're looking at the ADSBExchange.com 1090 megahertz saw filter. Now, this is for uh, ADSB. So, like if you're using a Raspberry Pi hooked up with a dongle and you want to receive ADSB signals. So, this will definitely help out if you're in a situation where you got a lot of interference or whatnot that you want to block everything else out except for a thousand megahertz, thousand ninety megahertz. So we're going to look inside this and see what it looks like. So we'll back this up. Take that screw out. All right. So if we turn this guy around, we have the filter. We have her in on the left and out on the right. There's what the back side looks like. I focus it. And there's what the top looks like. And we have our SMA, male and female, connectors. Which is kind of nice because we can screw this side right into the RTL and our antenna on this side. Let's get a little closer here and see. There we go. And we'll turn it around this way. And all we do is slide this back in. Now, before we do that, if you look, the SMA has a square bulkhead on it, which is kind of nice because the hole is square, which is a good idea because we put this back in here. Maybe. There we go. If it wants to cooperate. Alright, so that's what it looks like there, and like I was saying, with the square bulkhead, it's kind of nice, because if you do happen to turn down on this too tight, the uh, lid, the cover here, won't allow the bulkhead to turn and peel away from the circuit board, so that's kind of nice. That's a good idea to do that. Now, it doesn't come with a nut washer or lock washer here on the SMA, but you can always add one because you do have plenty of threads here for your uh, connector going on it, coming from your antenna and whatnot. So if we screw this on, there's how much room you have. So you definitely have enough to put a, a nut on there. So anyway, hopefully this kind of helps out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.